Today is a Wednesday, October 11, 2023. Terrible scenes as many bodies tracked down in Israel's Kfar Aza close to Gaza. The Israeli military beginnings eliminating collections of Israeli regular people and Hamas contenders from the Kfar Aza kibbutz as battling with the gathering closes nearby. Many assortments of Israeli regular people and Hamas contenders have been found among worn-out houses, dissipated furnishings, and burnt vehicles on the grounds of Kfar Aza in southern Israel, simply off the wall with the attacked Gaza Strip. The Israeli military took the foreign press through the site on Tuesday, as the fighters went from one house to another to remove the dead. The smell of bodies was weighty in the air as journalists strolled the ways of the kibbutz a cultivating local area of around 400 individuals found only two kilometers, about a mile, from Gaza which Israel has been barraging tirelessly for a really long time in counter for the most terrible assault in on its area in many years. One trooper hollered tell the world what you saw here. Revealing from Kfar Aza, Charles Stratford said there were bodies all around the town. Loads of regular people, a large number of them still in their homes in which they were killed he said, adding that the collections of what seemed to be Hamas warriors were likewise lying on the ground swelled by the sun. The Israeli military is communicating that there are a lot of soldiers they acknowledge were similarly killed in this attack. A large number of the homes are totally obliterated, he said, as he depicted completely terrible scenes. It's shocking to the point that people's lives and impacts are spread out across their yards. They have been quenched from their homes by the explosives. The military said it had not had the option to eliminate the bodies before as they were all the while battling shooters and dealing with booby traps. Fighters were all the while getting in the way of the kibbutz as eruptions of gunfire and blasts could be heard somewhere far off. Planes could be heard above and smoke should have been visible ascending from Gaza. Alarms cautioned of approaching rockets blocked above. The region was one of the hardest hit when Hamas sent off an extraordinary assault on Saturday sending a large number of rockets and contenders into Israel. At Kfar Aza, the Hamas slammed through the wall, potentially utilizing a tractor, getting the way for handfuls free from different shooters to enter through the break, as per the Israeli armed force. The Israeli military said the loss of life from the Hamas assaults had moved to 1,200 individuals, generally, regular folks shot dead in their homes, in the city, or at a party. In the kibbutz of Kfar Aza alone, many occupants were killed, by the Israeli powers. In the meantime, the loss of life in Gaza on Wednesday arrived at somewhere around 950 Palestinians, including 260 kids, as Israel kept pounding the blockaded and thickly populated waterfront area, leveling many areas. As indicated by the Gaza-based Wellbeing Service, about 5,000 individuals have likewise been injured. Inhabitants of Kfar Aza were utilized to strains and brutality including Palestinians, yet decided to live near the barred Gaza Strip. A few accepted they needed to keep an Israeli presence close to the seaside territory, even after Israel pulled out its soldiers from that point in 2005, while others had made their homes there since it was less expensive than somewhere else in Israel. Writing about Wednesday Stratford said the opinions of local people in the space had changed throughout recent days. It began with complete and absolute shock, then, at that point, it went to a pall and it is presently progressively going into outrage, he said. Israelis have seen the photographs of more seasoned and energetic being kidnapped, and they've seen the bodies, he added. Numerous that we are addressing are competing for blood and retribution. Israel on Wednesday promised to heighten its assaults, with Defense Minister Yoav Chivalrous telling fighters close to the wall that, what was in Gaza will never again be. Jordan's king above all else says no center east security until Palestinians get state. Jordan's above all else Abdullah says there will be no security and solidness in the center east until Palestinians get their autonomous, sovereign state on the lines of June 4, 1967, with East Jerusalem as their capital. We stay ardent, and we won't forsake our job, regardless of how extraordinary the difficulties are, to guard Islamic and Christian sacred natures in Jerusalem, he added. Jordan's Hashemite imperial family is the caretaker of Muslim and Christian sacred destinations in the city. Thanks for watching and subscribing to the channel.